The Ghana Radio Astronomy Observatory, launched in August 2017, is a 32-meter telecommunications dish based in Kuntunse, converted into a radio telescope with the help of South Africa and the UK. This radio telescope is part of the Square Kilometer Array project, which aims to build the world's largest radio telescope using other telescopes in African countries. But recently, the activities of encroachers is threatening the works of the facility. Speaking to journalists after a tour of the observatory, the project manager for the real-time facility at the Viasat station, Obrenpong Tokudom the 8, warns of a possible lawsuit against government if activities of these encroachers are not dealt with. Before the company came, it was a cabinet decision for the company to come over. They wanted to go to other countries, they can go to Togo, they can go to wherever. But government of Ghana took serious efforts to convince them to bring it here. And if they are paying taxes and generate a lot of revenue in terms of dollars to the country. So as inclusion gets closer, first we have an agreement with government of Ghana. So if government of Ghana is not able to protect the, their view for them to be able to use the facility, they can sue government for the losses. And we will also not get the revenue that we are getting every month from the American company because of this facility. And initially, initially it was planned that we were going to have nine such uh, stations here. But because of the equipment, we did analysis from two weeks back to realize that only four can be posted, which means we can have only three more. If your house is close, you are causing the country Ghana to lose revenue. And you are putting the government in risk of litigation. Because one day, one day, because of your cheap house, government of Ghana can involve himself in a big litigation so that the money that could have been used to construct rules for the private areas will not be used to pay judgment debt. And you all be complaining about that judgment debt. But these are some of the activities that leads to judgment debt. He further revealed the country might lose its status as a training center if these illegal activities persist. This station is not only for Ghana. It's for the Global SKA project, which is being hosted in Africa and Australia. Africa is hosting 70% and Australia is hosting 30%. And they have made this place the training center for up and coming Australians. And if the trainers, the trainees come and they can't do any science to teach them, they definitely they are going to do this fraud in Namibia or Kenya. But those countries they are serious. They are, even though we started before them, we are coming up with big, big, big projects. So if we keep encroaching and then damaging our reputation, definitely we will lose this sort as the training center for us. On his part, Dr. Joseph Bremang Tango, director of the Ghana Space Science and Technology Institute, appealed for the facility to be protected. Ghana Radio Astronomy Observatory is a national asset. I want us all to see, see it like that. It's a government investment into space science and technology. It's a commitment not only Ghana but our foreign partners have made in, in the area of space science and technology. We need to protect this facility. GAO is a regional designated center for training. Ghana has accepted to be part of space faring nations. I say this because, as we speak, Ghana has approved a national space policy, which was just launched last year. What it means is, this facility is part of the space policy, or is part of a regulation that is being monitored by government. So we can't leave this facility to us. And as uh, my colleague said, the position of this facility is unique. We observe the universe. This facility is located at the equator. We have a broader view of the universe. You can't find this anywhere. And the ground facility is the second largest radio telescope in Africa. So we all need to put our hands together to uh, protect this facility.